Hey guys, this is Dave with the Babylon team, welcoming you to another video. In this video, we're going to be going over how to add your own custom loading screen to your Babylon creations. Let's get started, shall we? All right, so in this example, we are covering, well, fish. For this, we are going to add a nice custom loading screen whenever we, like, add a mesh to our scene. As you can see, simple loading screen. It even says it's loading because uh, it's kind of unoriginal, but it works for us. So to accomplish this, we are actually using three different parts. One is we are adding a function for display loading UI, part of default loading screen. We're adding a function for hide loading UI, same place, or at least part of the same thing. And then we're actually using them in the body. Kind of crazy, I know, right? Super complex. Anyway, it's pretty painless. Here, um, we're gonna skip this part for now. Um, but this part, this is where we actually start to add stuff. In here, uh, our loading screen is gonna be comprised of a div, and we're gonna give it a nice, unique ID name, because we're gonna be using that later on. Back to that upper part I, actually, I mentioned earlier. We're going to put in some HTML or text, which I guess eh, doesn't really count. Anyway, we're going to be adding style to it. And we can even add our style we're using inner HTML again. So CSS, red, white text color, pretty big, and in the center. Down here, we're going to be adding a nice little thing to the top or to the head that will resize it. So whenever it resizes, we resize the UI. And then we actually add the div to our body. All right, next we're gonna actually go over hide loading UI. When we're done, like we've loaded everything, the fish are there, the fish are happy, let's go ahead and get rid of that loading screen. So we reference that nice unique ID that we established earlier, and we set the display style to none because, well, we don't need it anymore. So this should hide it from, I guess, the window for us. And then if you want, you can even add yourself a little like message, you know, for debugging purposes. It isn't necessary. As long as you have this, you're good to go. Let's go back to that part I skipped. Let's say you have something that will load things in a frame. So you're not actually refreshing the window or hitting F5, any of that kind of stuff. You already have created this div, this nice uniquely ID div. Instead of creating another one each time you, I guess, refresh that piece, we can check and see, hey, do we have that div? If we do, set its display style to initial, which is kind of the default. So we make it active and use it again. We're recycling what we used. No muss, no fuss. And then we just return. So let's get into actually where we would use these things. Okay, so we have our engine display loading UI. Just call it at the very beginning. It can come before or after creating your scene. And then in here for import mesh, we're kind of lucky because we actually have access to a callback parameter, which is where we're putting our nice hide loading UI function we created. So when it's done loading it, It'll get rid of the it'll get rid of the loading screen for us, pretty easy. So if you want, every time you call you add a mesh, you can use this to add a loading screen. So like if you're creating something that would require that, it's pretty cool. But I'm guessing that not all of you are going to want to do that for each little mesh that you bring in. Maybe you want to load your whole scene and then get rid of the loading UI, like in a game or something. So let's look at this second example with this very bland looking, <laughs> very bland looking uh, thing I created. It's just it's a bunch of spheres. Kind of looks like one of those like blow up things that you like lay on in a pool, like a floating device or like a really lame couch cushion. Um, anyway, a lot of our code's gonna be the same. So I'm gonna just point out the differences here. And that is in this one, inner HTML, we're actually gonna be loading an image. Nice little GIF. So if you want to create something nice for your code, well, that's what you can do. You can do a lot of stuff. It actually gets pretty, uh, it can get pretty complex if you want it to be. 
feel free, you know, follow your dreams. Anyway, so we actually changed the color a bit and removed some stuff. We don't actually need this text to line because we don't have any text in that example, but it's not hurting anything, so we'll just leave it there for now. Let's go down to our main function. Now, because with the playground, we can't actually uh, demonstrate the loading without it just happening all before the same draw call, we're going to simulate it. We're going to fake it. But that's okay. This is just for educational purposes. Um, so we add our scene. We add a camera because it will complain in this specific fake scenario. And then we load, we add our display. So it should do something like this. And then it goes away. And then with this, we have I set a timeout to two seconds. And we go through everything that we need. And then we hide it. So we do all our work, we hide our UI, and now you're presented with this nice display of spheres. I know, it's just pretty jaw-dropping, right? Anyway. It's a simple example, and if you want, feel free, you can feel free to check out these links above if you want to try it for yourself. And I'm actually going to be linking in the description below the page that'll show you not only how to add your own custom loading screens if you want a little more information, but also uh, ways that you can incorporate your own, I guess, uh, progress bars. But I think that should cover uh, everything you need to get started. So. Thanks for joining us today for this video, and you all have a wonderful day. Take it easy.